Hey, bad friends. Uh, Bob is not on the road right now, but I am. Go to andrewsantino.com for dates. andrewsantino.com for them tour dates. I'm going to be in Atlantic City at the end of the month. Then I go to Houston and Madison and Boston and Nashville, and we're adding dates as we go. Be on the lookout, but go to andrewsantino.com for tickets. You two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. You know, the comedy store's opening. They call you? They call, they send me text messages yeah, and yeah, phone calls. Yeah, yeah. They're opening up. I'm not coming back. Next week. I'm not coming back. Why aren't you? Until after the pandemic, after uh, I come back from Europe. Right. Well, because you want to go to, right. I, that's why. Well, I haven't written anything. In a year, I have not written anything. A year? I've been playing video. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. It's a good Real joke. good one. It's a good joke. You're in a bad mood. No, I'm not in a bad mood. I can mood. tell. You know what? You get more. Yeah, I can tell. It's in your eyes and your cheeks. Mood. Be honest. What's going on? I, Are you annoyed that we were late? No, not at all. Actually, I wasn't. I didn't, didn't even. Did all I right. mention it? And I'm annoyed that she's yawning. So what's going on? People couldn't stop asking about Rudy at the show. I'm not. I'm not make. I'm literally not making that up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying. No, that has nothing to do with what my. I'm not saying I'm in a bad mood. How many people you think? We're in the room. Now, how many people were asking about Rudy? If I'm being genuine, after the show, I took some questions after yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Thirteen people every single show. Mm -hmm. What's Rudy going to do? What's Ru Are you guys going to get Rudy gone? Who's going to fill in? Yeah, yeah. All, everybody asked. And yeah. I said, it's none of your business. We'll figure it out how we have to figure it out. It's so funny because today we had, we had dinner for the first time at a restaurant. And um, Kalila- Which met one? Jinya. Ooh, I love Jinya ramen. No, not ramen. No? Hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> they have an offshoot, hamburger. Oh, they do? Yeah, yeah. cheeseburgers are delicious. Wow, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. They put some umami sauce on it. Jinya cheeseburgers. Jeez. Yeah, it's delicious. <laughs> Actually, the Thai no, place the ramen by my place. House the ramen was good. Was it good? Yeah. But anyway, who? Um, can I finish my story? A bad Sh mood? Shoot Is there a bad mood? I'm not in a bad. How am I in a bad mood? <laughs> I can tell with your eyes. I can tell with your eyes. What's going on? You didn't sleep well. You know me well. I know. What's going on? I haven't been getting any sleep. Yeah, you'd look tired and just like on the edge. <sighs> I'm having night sweats. Oh. And I think it's because of the vaccine. I'm being serious. Night sweats? Night sweats. That's nice. I looked it up. It's part of it. Oh. Night sweats and one of my testicles disappears into my body in the middle of the night. It'll go up into my body. That's happened to and me. And I'll have to go <coughs> and it'll that come out. That happened to me yeah. all my life. It just disappears? It's just gone. It's never been there. Which one, right or left? Both of them are just tucked inside my fucking dick. Do you know how they feel like they're on strings? I feel like at, it just crawls up the string at night and yeah. then lets go sometimes. Yeah. But it feels so strange in my body. Too how, many, many, how many wrinkles do you have? On my nuts? Yeah. It's the, it's, I mean, it's, my nuts are so wrinkled. You can't, I can't count. How could you? I, I counted 362. Mine, 362? Yeah. Mine wrinkled. looks like a brain. It's just like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. a rolls yeah. of, like sea Mine's, waves. <laughs> yeah. It's sea waves. Mine's bad. Mine's like, uh, is your stretchy? I call it Dune. Because <laughs> there's like a little jagged snee snakes. <laughs> you know that little monster? A little, yeah. a little snake comes yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, too, my... too many people asked about you. That's all I want to say. It was annoying. And and then everyone was like, tell us what school she's going to go to. And it's. I said, we're going to reveal it on the show. Yeah, yeah. Just wait till we get to, we're going to reveal it. Do you want to reveal it? We haven't we decided haven't yet. We haven't decided yet. Okay. Anyway, so we were at the restaurant. Can I finish my genius story or what? Yeah. Thank you. Bad mood. Um, I'm not in a bad mood. <laughs> See, I can tell already. I love it. Andres, am I in a bad mood? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so um, we were at Ginya and Kalila go, you know what? Um, Juliana, that's her real name. Yeah. Rudy. <laughs> okay, Rudy. Rudy Juliana. Yeah. Rudy Juliana. Um, you should have a waiting job. And I go, please. Oh, that'd be cool. But I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because- you have you waited tables, dude? I've done everything. I've, I did busing. Me too. I did serving. I did hosting. I did dishwashing. Yeah, you. I you did get all slammed, of slammed, right? Yeah. For like an eight-hour shift. I mean, you're just you know, especially at a busy restaurant. Yeah. You, know, you get a section, right? Yeah. As a waiter. Yeah. And it's like ketchup here, Tabasco here. I got an order coming up here. I said They're no tomato. They yeah, want yeah. their and, check. And you're running yeah. around in a circle for eight hours, like losing it, ma ma like a ma mania. Yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? You know, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then at the end of the day, you get ninety dollars, maybe, 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 maybe. Yeah, right. This ungrateful little. I, I, I don't. Uh, right. It, she, we know. she. But you sit here. You yawn. Yeah, she. Right. Yawns. You say three things like, 
I agree, Tito Andrew or whatever. And, yeah. And then sometimes out of nowhere she'll go, the Jews. The and Jews. you're like, whoa, yeah, yeah. whoa crazy. what? <laughs> Too far. But my point is, is that I want her to have a waiting job. Yeah, you need one. So that she can just realize how she lucky re- she how is. How lucky she is. All right, well, let's do it right now. I'm a customer. We, My, my husband and I just sat down to eat. <laughs> yeah. And why don't you serve us? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. Do you have any specials? <laughs> yes, we have the... Apple cider salad. Oh, you love apple, apple cider, cider salad. Sal- I love it. You love apple I cider salad. used to have it in France. That's your favorite. <laughs> yeah. I love how they pigment you know, in the lettuce. <laughs> they dip it, right? They, they dip, dip it, it in, in the lettuce, the, the, the apple cider. Yeah. There's an for apple like cider salad. For like 24 hours. There it is. Delicious. Is that a real salad? That's an autumn chopped apple cider salad. Yeah, yeah. So, and what, what else? Do you have else? a salad for her? Uh, we have the carnitas. Yeah, oh, carnitas. Oh, I, love carnitas. I love carnitas. What does that come with? Tacos. <laughs> oh, so you get you get tacos, you get tacos with, with the carnitas. What kind of taco? <laughs> so do you get carnitas? Just a plate of carnitas? So you and get then two tacos? things. You get tacos you get and carnitas. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right. What's how much is that? Thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. For both things, it's we could pretty share reasonable. That. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. we could split that. So, so we'll split. With... We'll split the apple cider salad. <laughs> And yeah. then we'll also split the carnitas and the tacos. Eat the tacos. Okay. Anything else on the, uh, yeah, on the special menu? Uh, do you want drinks? Yeah, what do you have? Yeah. You have what do you have to offer? We don't, we're not really into... We're a couple, obviously. Clearly. And, yeah, and her, him... I her, like gays. He, we're, <laughs> <laughs> what? She said I like gays. I know, but... You and you know what? That's so... I, we're fine with that. You're lucky we're fine with yeah, that. Yeah, but generally, you it's shouldn't like, say that to if people. we were a black couple, right? You Which, could, you shouldn't say, I love blacks. Right. Even if you do, and that's fine that you right, do, but you yeah. just don't go, I like blacks. And Internally, like, you can feel that, right. but to outwardly say that, <laughs> right. we're cool with the gay comment, though. We're well, fine with it. how can I show that I like you? Just be nice to us. Yeah, just be nice, and because we're normal. We're, we're just regular people. people. Yeah. Right. Okay. So um, don't treat us any different. So you have, we ordered those two things. So in terms of mm-hmm. drinks, we're not into sugar right now. We're, we're not. We're, on a we're sugar, cutting sugar we're right cutting, out of our diet. Of our, uh, and so. Water. And well, it said, well, we want a fancy it up because this is an, what, what is this restaurant called again? This is, uh, what no, are, what, what what's is the it? menu? Well, yeah, what is it? Um, to, to Tijuana's. Oh, Toto Tijuana's. <laughs> I love Toto Tijuana. This is a chain, right? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. a great chain. Yeah, it started in El Paso. There was two in El Paso, yeah, 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 and then yeah. one in Albuquerque, and then I think that's why they came here, where right. we are Toto now Tijuana. in Southern Toto California. Tijuana so delicious. Well, so here at Toto Tijuana, do you have anything else to drink that wouldn't be water? Yeah. Um, we have something similar to water. Which which is what? <laughs> which is what? Um, 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 Spring water. Oh, spring yeah, water. Yeah, spring water here. Wow, fancy. That's cool. We do That's like really, that. We love spring we'll, water. We'll take it a bucket of that. We'll take a bucket of spring water. <laughs> a bucket water. of spring water, please. Yeah. Okay. And, and uh, do you have any else? desserts? Yeah. We, we actually, we, might, we like to order dessert when we're ordering the whole meal. Yeah. Because we like we, it on the table to look at what's coming. What's yeah. coming. To give us a reward. Yeah. We just have chocolate pot pie. A chocolate, chocolate pot, pot pie. pie. Perfect. I, Perfect. So, um, so it just seems like a lot of sugar. <laughs> we are cutting out sugar. Yeah, we're cutting out sugar. But desserts are full of sugars. Well, well we've been to plenty of restaurants that don't have, have sugar desserts. Do I mean, something want... light. You have anything lighter than a chocolate pot pie? <laughs> we have. And what's in the chocolate? Is it? Let me ask you. It's can just I ask hot you? Hot chocolate inside. You know what is it? A chicken pot pie. So it's basically the crust of a pie. Of a yeah. pie, pie Inside, crust. it's just pure chocolate. Chocolate. Yeah. But Melted sometimes chocolate. the chef will give you a surprise and put potatoes and Oh, carrots. yeah. Uh, oh, like they do. That winning combination of potatoes and chocolate <laughs> that everybody strives for. Yeah. Yeah, potato chocolate. Uh, okay. Uh, well, listen, listen, that's fine. That's do you have fine. something lighter? Because yeah. okay, look, he's not, but I'm on a diet and yeah. I'd like to shed some pounds and- that's why he agreed to do the sugar thing with me, which which was sweet of him. Well, I mean, just because you like gays, um, he is literally the the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's the bottom, so he doesn't really need to lose the weight. We like to call it the first layer. I'm the first layer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the first layer. So I I just would like to lose a little bit of weight. Okay. So what else do you have that's lighter, dessert wise? Salad ice cream. Ah. Uh, mm, salad ice cream. Just salad with ice cream on top. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what flavor ice cream is yeah. on top? Yeah. Strawberry. Ah, uh, strawberry it's salad, salad it's ice cream. A, it's a, it's, let me ask you this. So it's a lettuce cup mm. and you scoop ice cream into it? Yeah. It tastes mm. good. 
You know, it there did. it is. There's there that it salad is. ice cream that you like so that much. You like so much. <laughs> well, okay. I guess we'll take those items. We'll take those items. Thank okay, you. Okay, and now we're done. We're done now. Okay, ready? And can we have the check, please? Here you go. Ah, uh, thank you very thank much. You. Whoa, what? The... It's <sighs> excuse it's me. Four hundred and twenty-five dollars. Well, how wh how could we have? We got literally a salad, carnitas tacos. And, yeah, we got the and the ice cream salad. The spring water is. Oh, oh, here we go. You ordered a bucket. Yeah, we did. Yeah, a spring water. So yeah. a bucket. Of, uh, let me ask you. So, so a bucket of. <laughs> Spring water at this restaurant is one hundred and twenty nine dollars. One thirty five fifty five. It says yeah, right 135 there. Yeah, one thirty five fifty five. Wow. I guess. And that's where's your price. this water from? From Mount Everest. Oh, that explains. Wow. it. that explains it. I wish you told us that up front. We probably yeah, wouldn't we have ordered just got it. Got the regular water, maybe. It, he said you wanted fancy. We did want fancy. <laughs> yeah, it just okay. Well, I don't. The one thing I don't like on here, you know, sometimes servers will sign their name. They'll write like "Thanks, Margot" with like a heart in it. Right. Or yeah. This one says "Thanks, you gays." <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why? I try to repass that, but uh, look, I, yeah, it's fine that you feel that way and that you're cool with us, but you know, listen, we. I'll be honest with you, we're not. We just didn't realize that Tia Tijuana was it to to Tia Tijuana 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 is so expensive, and we. Only have four hundred and thirty dollars. Yeah, yeah. So, so we're gonna we're gonna leave you whatever the tip, whatever the le just whatever leftover. change is left over. Is that okay? Is it okay? It's fine. I okay. support gays. <laughs> just you know what? Can I talk so, to your so, manager, honey, 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 <laughs> honey, honey, honey? I want to talk to your honey. manager. No, because we, I, that's we, no, the no, third no, time she third said time. that. And, and let's call. Let's not talk to the manager. We'll just call corporate. Okay, that's fine. Oh. We'll call corporate. Uh, I just want to say something, sweetie. Ooh. Sweetie, yeah. you just you crossed the line. That's the I'm... first time. The first time, right, <laughs> was okay. We were gonna <laughs> let that pass. Then you th th threw one in there. You know what I mean? In the middle of in everything. the middle of everything, right? right? And now to add a third one is offensive. Not necessary. I was just saying it's fine. I, am, I, I well, no, no, let's talk to the manager. Let's talk to the manager, yeah, yeah. please. Ah, here he is there, now. There Hello. she is. There. Is there any there's... problem? Here's the manager now. <laughs> oh, there he is. Any problems? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, your waiter mentioned, you know, we 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 mentioned that we were a gay couple. Oh, and wow, she, we support gays in this restaurant. We get it, we understand. <laughs> we know uh, that. Uh, it comes from the top. I, it we, comes from the top. I know, you it, can it, feel it. it. It's trickle down. Trickle, trickle down, trickle down uh, racism. Ra oh, no, uh, homophobia. Sexism, homophobia, homophobia, oh. yeah. All right, so, sir, she multiple times during our meal had mentioned that she liked gays, which we understand that's a cool, that's fine, we like that, but... I don't think she needs to bring up our sexuality it, during the dinner. Also, because I just was a side note. Why is spring water one hundred twenty-five dollars? <laughs> that should have been my first question. Yeah, that should have been. For... It comes from Mount Everest. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, well, I guess that's that. I guess that's that. That makes yeah. sense. Anyway, so and then so she threw in a gay bomb. Yeah, you know, I mean in the three, middle three times, three, three though, times, and the third one was a little offensive. Oh, I'm so sorry, Rudy Jules. Can I talk to you for a second? <laughs> okay. You don't tell them that you like them. You just like smile, and that's it. Right. You but know? you said to express love. Yeah, but uh, with a smile, you know, good service. That's See? it. That's okay. Right. okay. 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 Is there a is there like a gay discount that you guys might have to make up for some of the what you just did? Like, do are we? We do have a gay discount, twenty percent off, if wow. you can prove that you're gay. You know what? Can I just say something? <laughs> if you can prove, oh, I, I, you want us to prove that we're gay? <laughs> can you imagine this restaurant? Hi. <laughs> can you imagine this restaurant? You have to prove your. By the way, I imagine a restaurant, a couple walking, a, cu a couple sitting down, and and Rudy comes up and just goes, "I love gays." Yeah. No, we're. Let me leaving. ask you something. We do a lot of gay stuff, and I just feel like that whole scene. We don't we, do a we, lot of gay stuff. We do. We're always a gay couple. We're always <laughs> fucking, right? And we're always doing something. This is a fantasy I, podcast. I understand that, but let's, you know, can we be something else like hermaphrodites or... Sure, fine. Or what is a hermaphrodite? You're born with both genitalia. Let's just do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's try that. But, not, not right now, because we already did this scene. But if we're lovers... But the next, I know, but the next scene... Okay, the problem let's is... Let's not be gay. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, Good uh, luck. Yeah, we're, we're brothers... <laughs> But we both happen to be hermaphrodites. And sometimes we kiss. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. But that's just, you know, in a family. That's family stuff. That's, Fine. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's like to say goodbye. Yeah, we fuck and kiss. But that- That's family stuff. That's family stuff. That makes sense. But for us to always say that we're gay, I, I just feel we like don't, we need it's to stretch not our that, legs. It, it's not that. It's yeah. not that. It's just because we're two guys that host this and Rudy Jules is the resident queen of the pod here. Yeah. When, when we're in a relationship on the- But why aren't we pirates? 
Arr, you know what I mean? Because we're gay guys. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, it, by the way. Look yeah, at yeah. look at what uh, look at what Gabs Gabs has brought up yeah, on the screen. Yeah. Here. Um. I, honestly, um. You. And I look like a girl that just is a. No, you look tramp. <laughs> yeah, you look like somebody that like um, I'm a let's say I'm a heroin dealer. Mm-hmm. I'm in a small town, mm-hmm. right? Somewhere in Massachusetts, right? And she, you look like somebody that says, "I just don't have the money," <laughs> 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 right? And I'm like, you know, what I mean, well, what are we gonna do about it? And I'm like, well, we need, I, you know, I need to get something out of it. That kind of a situation. I'm like, well, what do you want? And then you you propose something that's like out of control. Like I'll I'll stick gerbils in my vagina, right? Right. And I'm like, I didn't offer that, but I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So can I have the heroin? <laughs> yeah. I'll throw. I need sure. the H bad. <laughs> yeah. This actually, these two girls go out together. <laughs> they these do. two girls go out and party at night. If you were a drug addict, what? Um, what drug would I be? No, no, no. But like, like if you and I were on crack, okay. where, what is your line? What do you mean? Well, like, like we're street people. Yeah. You and I are street people, okay. right? <laughs> right. We're living under our tent. Yeah. Under a un- bridge. Un- under the freeway. Under the freeway. Yeah. We, we, we need heroin eight hours a day. Every eight hours we need it. Yeah, our kick. We got to get our fix. Oh, we start going to detox, right? Right. So what are you willing to do? Honestly, though, what would you be willing to do? Kill. You would? I don't want to do sex. Would you suck fa- dick or I, kill? I don't want to do sex favors. I'll, I, I'd rather be the murderer. You, I know, you're what? not killing anybody. <laughs> I'm not killing nobody. No, no. no. <laughs> you're too much of a sweet boy. Yeah, I'm yeah. stabbing for sure for heroin. But then you'll go to prison. I know, but it's better. That, well, And then I'll have to suck dick there. So it's like, I'll get over it at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I just don't want to do. Oh, my God. That's Rudy as a duty? <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Car- there's Carlos Santillas. <laughs> That's yeah. one of the members of the band. Yeah. Rudy, look at what you look like as a dude. Why do you look like, like a Mexican guy? You look like what? We like, Gilbert. You look yeah. like Gilbert a yeah, little bit? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. I think you look like a Mexican guy there. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Let me ask you something. Last night, um, we were watching the fights. Did yeah. You see him? Yeah, we did. But there, yeah. were, there were many nights ago. <laughs> Two weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. Three we weeks ago, we were watching the fights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. And You were watching uh, the fights? We were watching the fights. And... Um, I kind of got to fight with the people in the house because let me just say this. I got slapped in the face, by the way. <laughs> Who hit you in the face? Kalila. Like, like oh, backhanded my face. Hard? She she was going to go really hard, mm-hmm. but she kind of held back a little bit. But I could tell. <laughs> but there was an anger. You saw it, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's because, um, you know, Rose Nami Yunus fought Wei Li. Yeah. The Chinese one. Correct. Right? Love yeah. Chinese people. Yeah. I'm Asian. Stop Asian hate. I'm not doing it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> but I was um, rooting for Rose. Why? Because Rose does things that she seems like she does the impossible. Like um, when she beat Yoana Yonjek and Jacek the first time. Right. It was, it was, there's no, in, in your mind, you would, she was never going to beat her. Mm. Right? I mean, because Johanna was just tearing through that division. And, um, you know, Johanna fought, not Johanna, um, Rose fought people like Paige Van Sant and people that weren't even in the, sim, in the same, same category. Same category. Yeah, Johanna was the queen of the strawweight division. Right on. Beat her. Yep. Knocked her out yep. in the first round. Yep. And so in this one, it's like, you know, here we have Wei Lee, who's like this buff monstrosity. Of Jacked. Like, Jacked, right? Like just jacked. Chinese, so she's, you know, you just think that her work ethic is probably out the window. You know what I mean? Right. And and Rose is, de- you know, obviously not the betting favorite. You know, she people think she's going to lose. Uh-huh. And she was able to knock her out in the first round with a kick. Did you see that kick? It was pretty It was pretty Amazing. Dope. It was incredible. Right. Kicks to the face are, are in the neck, so in the neck area. Oh, my God. She falls over. She gets, she loses, Whaley, and I... St- yeah, you know, I go, you know, I'm a poor you, winner. You love it. I'm a poor winner. You are a poor, you're a poor loser. You're a, you're just as poor of a winner as you are a loser. I'm a poor in everything. You're poor. Yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I went, you know, I went. You were rubbing it in. Yeah, and I I think I I did a, you know what I mean? I did a fucking <laughs> dance move, like a swirl. Yeah, yeah, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I, I told you, and I went crazy. I told you. Did I told you, you that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Instigating. Yeah. You know, I, in their face, I went to people's faces. Why? I went, yeah. You know, I went crazy, right? And I'm, then she and hit she you. just went pop, 
in my head. Good. And she goes, and she goes, you know, are you white? Are you white? Yeah, because I supported the white one. Ah. You know what I mean? Like in a situation. You support that, a lot of whites. I, now, when she said that, right, I go, maybe I am. Yeah, maybe you are. No, no, but, <laughs> <laughs> but am I? A little. Why? Well, because you support a lot of whites. Yeah, but it's like, why do I have to as an American citizen? As an American citizen, why can't you I? You can choose whoever you want. Yeah, why can't I root for the American? I'm an American. You can. Right? But I for, because I'm Asian, I have to vote. I have to root for the fucking China. China? It should be your angle. Yeah, you should you should just want to go with the Asian. Right. So what I'm saying for like if you're watching a sport, I have to root for Conor McGregor. I don't have a choice. You I, do every time. I had to. <laughs> I don't know. Even when I thought I shouldn't. No, really. I, because it's like a thing. You're like, ah, it's oh. a pride for a country a little bit. That's why they wave the flags at every UFC event. They always have their flags there. Yeah. It's, it's just it's like you're supposed to a little bit. Huh. I I don't know why. I don't like it. But it's like something inside you is like, I guess I should root for my own squad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. If it's racist, if it's like if it's like all about the race of it, but if it's about the nationality, mm, then you kind of got to root for your national team. I mean, you're American, but like But like what? But, you know, you're you're also Asian. Like hmm. I'm I'm American, but I'm also Irish, so like, you know. Yeah. I got to You're Italian. I'm both. But yeah. but there's no Italian. Who? What are the UFC Italian fighters that I'm rooting for? I, I want to live in a world where that's not a factor. I would love that. To put your, put your hand down. I would love that. <laughs> Don't do that. I would love that. Fuck you. But that's not possible. I know. You're talking about a utopian society. Yeah, I can't we because uh, let me just. What I are you a liberal? No. no. What are you a libby cuck? Listen, snowflake. That's why I loved Star Trek. Babble for most of us, Andrew. Por qué? Learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. I failed. It was uh, very difficult. I, fa I failed uh, Spanish it's, once. It's the way they teach it. Yeah, there's but so Babbel bad. has figured it out, have they not? No, it's truly. It is yeah. the number one selling uh, language learning app. If you're trying to learn another language, which Bob and I both are, you We're know, uh, he's going overseas and he's trying to learn Hungarian. A, a Hungarian. He wants to speak a bunch of different languages. Um, I'm trying to learn Spanish and Fancy's helping me out. And Babbel teaches you bite-sized language lessons you'll actually use in the real world. They don't do like the the, the broad, weird no, they do statements. 15-minute lessons. Yeah. Right? It's a perfect and way. It's so perfect. It is. And they design their courses with practical real-world conversations in mind. You know, it's not like this clinical shit, right? Right. It's the way people talk. Right. Things you'll get to use in everyday life, okay? Other language learning apps use AI for the lesson plans, but Babbel lessons were created by over 100 language experts. Uh, Babbel's... It's scientifically, scientifically proven. That's what we like. We love science. No, I love here. the science over here. Babbel speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent so you can say stuff like... Uh, España, with that E and the S and the curl of it. Yeah. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, when you purchase a three-month Babbel subscription, you get an additional three months for free. That's six months, half a year for the price of just three. Go to Babbel.com and use the promo code Bad Friends. Just go to Babbel.com and use the promo code <laughs> Bad, Bad Friends. Friends. That's Babbel, B-A-B-B-E-L.com, code Bad Friends. Language for life. Liquid, Liquid IV. IV. I'll tell you something, Andrew. Um, Guess what's in my bottle right now? Liquid IV. Liquid IV. I'm going to tell you this right now. I'd rather have liquid IV in the ocean. Oh, you want an ocean of liquid IV? Yeah, I mean, I would. I think liquid IV should like come from the streams, and it's oh, it's taps. so good. It should just be coming out of our taps. Yeah, because I want to shower in it because <laughs> I think it's so nutritious. <laughs> it's delicious. If you don't know what it is, I have it in my bottle right now. It's uh, liquid IV plus immune support. Yeah, uh, it keeps you. Uh, Feeling good. It's first thing in the morning before a workout when you feel down, hangover. Well, if you have a pure. hangover or oh you're feeling God. like you know, like you're getting sickly. Yeah, yeah, which I do often. Yeah, it's a great tasting functional products makes you feel awesome. I'm glad and, you uh, said great tasting because what I like about Liquid IV is also the flavors. Yeah, they have really good flavors. Mm -hmm. They have very very good flavors, like vitamin C. Oh well, they have vitamin flavor? C in there. Is that no, a it's not a flavor, but it oh. does taste good. Uh, they have a uh, uh, this uh, hydration multiplier immune support. It's a cutting edge blend of vitamin, vitamin C. Is a flavor like orange? I mean, I think we've just, um, it, 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 in our mind it is. Okay. Zinc and Wellmune, uh, it's single serving packs to help strengthen your immune system. I got to tell you, I take this all the time. Yeah. They are absolutely delicious. Uh, each packet is bursting with fresh natural tangerine flavor, which I like. See, that's the tangerine. That's the orange you're talking about. The optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and potassium delivers water and key nutrients into the bloodstream faster. Did you guys know that? No, they didn't know that. And I'm telling you, it is actually very delicious. We have it here at the studio. We have it at home. 
Um, and I very much enjoy Liquid IV. You got to try it out. Also, they're with good every people. purchase. They're also good people. Yeah, they are. They're donating a serving of Liquid IV to someone in need with every time you purchase. And they've donated over 10 million servings globally. So get Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. To, to, plus to the COVID immune... response, too. COVID. Yeah, IV is... Liquid IV has donated 4 million servings in response to COVID-19. Products are being donated to hospitals, first responders, food banks, veterans, and active military. It's pretty impressive. So you should get your liquid IV hydration multiplier plus immune support in bulk at Costco or order online and you get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the promo code Bad Friends friends. at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code Bad Bad Friends at liquidiv.com. Star Trek lived in a world where, you know, everybody... People on people on planet Earth. There was no more money anymore. Right, right, and people just stri- stri- strive to better themselves. But you love to, money. Just listen to what I'm saying. Okay, I know. And it, maybe these are aspects that I hate about myself. Correct. So just listen to what I'm saying. Right. Okay, go ahead. So it's like you know, um, you know, in that world, you know, we're our whole objective is to explore, to grow, and um, to just discover things about within ourselves and also on the outside. Right, but who's paying for the gas for the spaceship? Just the planet Earth. Right. And I don't think it runs on gas. What does it run on? You think there's a gas station up there? There's got to be. In the Romulan fucking... S- well, well, what what, what force does it run on? Hope? <laughs> no, no, it probably... No, dilithium crystals. Well, who gets it? Who's mining the dilithium crystals? Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> for sure, Mexicans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even in outer space. In space, yeah, you're right. You're See? trying to get to a point. Yes, you're right. Yeah. But I just want to get to a point where it's like, you know. I understand what you're saying. I don't you, think you do. No, I do. I think you're saying that you you wish that stuff didn't mean as didn't mean, mean as much as it does. No, there's also a sense of guilt of like, you know, am I not supportive of other – like when I'm, I'm not – when Asians get beat up on the streets, it's offensive to me. Of, to me sure. And, and I want to fight that, right? And maybe, and maybe if it, it was happening to another – you know, ethnicity, it would still be uh, appalling to me, but not as appalling. Yeah. Well, it's not going to affect you unless it, it literally right. has so a that, connection. Right, so that, you know, th- you know, but I still would be, you know I mean? It would affect me still, you know? Yeah. But, um, you know, I just found it interesting that it's like, you know, I can't, you know, support a white person. You can. But just, then I get backlash. But you do it privately. And within myself. Right, you do it inside. So when, so Publicly, when, so could... when Whaley got knocked down, <laughs> Correct. I should have went, Oh! Oh no! Oh, no! What? That's that so, kind of thing? That's so bad! <laughs> wow! Yeah. Okay. You have to celebrate. Uh, uh, you have to celebrate internally. Who did you support? Did you like the fights, Rude? Yeah, I liked it. You like fights, huh? I supported Whaley. Everyone, when Whaley got defeated, everyone was sad except Tito Bobby. Mm. <laughs> that's why Atikalila got really mad. What did I do? Smacked what did I do? You in the face. You were screaming and jumping. Yeah, yeah. And then Atikalila said that. Rose said something racist to Ailey. What did she say? Oh, uh, before. Dead. Uh, all right. Dead, uh, here we go. So red. what? She said her, I guess her great, her grandfather was um, Lithuanian. Okay. And died f- by from the communists. Well, that's terrible. He fell off a tower. What did the co- the communists push him off a tower? I, I get, yeah. Like in oh. Game of Thrones. Cool. Yeah. It's a cool way to <laughs> yeah. go. And then his, you know what I mean? His her grandfather fell off the tower and became a warg. <laughs> 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 and, you know, he could fly with through a crow. That, you know, that's what I mean? kind of yeah, 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 pretty cool. That's pretty. That's kind of cool. But no, um, she was like, I want to defeat communism. Oh, that. Oh, oh, so yeah, it yeah, was yeah. about race. Better dead than red. That was his her like thing to get behind. I'm sure. Yeah, you know I mean, but it's like, but that is kind of bullshit because it's like, what is Wei Li probably has no. I mean, you're born into a system. Yeah. Right where you know you have to abide abide by it's like it's like you know I'm sorry this is a comedy podcast I'm just go for it baby <laughs> but it's like you know you're saying she she might not be it's, communist no it's like you know that or agree with seventy six days where it showed the first seventy six days of you know what I mean the COVID epidemic in Wuhan Uh yeah yeah and you know these villagers and these townspeople people they don't know what it is. They didn't have anything to do with right. right this outbreak. They're just born into a town. You're now a fisherman or whatever you might be working at a market. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden you're sick. You don't know what the fuck is going on. 
Whaley is the same with probably communism. Communism. I mean, she's just born into a, a place. system. Yeah, system. And it's the like, government knew, by the way. What do you mean? The Chinese government knew about what? About Corona. They just I know, didn't, but they didn't. Do you think that they? It was a. They created in a lab, and they. They didn't tell the people not to tell anybody. They just didn't tell anybody when people were dying. They were trying to find a way to cover it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is what our government does the same fucked up shit when they're like, uh, we'll figure out a way to cover. How weird that the government now is acknowledging aliens. Do you not see all these reports now that they're like, they're open now about it. For all these years that we're like, that's a UFO, that's a fucking UFO. And the government's like, no, it's not. And now look up any article. They're like, yeah, okay, it's a UFO. Well, the little grays have been living with us probably about 70 years. At least. You know the little grays? At least. Yeah. At you know least. You the little grays are? Look, look, up, look up little grays. Little tinies. I told you about my little experience gray with the little grays, didn't I? No. Yeah. Have you been abducted? No, but I had an experience. Well, what is it? <laughs> and you're not going to believe me. I'm going to, I'm in. And I'm being, I'm really serious. I believe in aliens. First of all, let me just say this. Yep. Today, obviously, my tone is very serious. Uh, it was for a minute, but we can get back to it. No, no, fun. but this is, that's why you know that when I talk about the little grays, that I'm being serious. I can feel it. Thank you. I can feel it. So a long time ago, I was 17 years old, uh -huh. and I was in a rehab. For first or second stint? It was my second one. Right Or on. third one. It was my third one. Third time's a charm. Yeah, yeah. I was at the McDonald's Center, and I met this man. Wait, what? I didn't hear that. They the were... McDonald's Center. Oh, the McDonald's Center. Yeah. Like the comp McDonald's sponsors a, a rehab? Yeah. How's the food? Delicious. Ugh. <laughs> yeah. They're like, while you're kicking heroin, chicken nugget, get yeah, diabetes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so anyway, um, I met this man there, and he was like a 50-year-old man. He was in the uh, – so the, I was in the kids' ward, the teenage drug ward. Right. You're there for 45 days. And then it was an adult ward, but sometimes we would get together and go to meetings and whatnot. Huh. Right. So I met this man there, and um, his name was Tom. He was 50 years old or whatever. And I would go to these men's meetings. I would run into this guy all the time. He looked like a just a white accountant hmm. vibe, yeah. right? And one day, uh, you know, sometimes there's this thing after an AA meeting where they go, you know, um, the meeting after the meeting, which is like, you know, all the guys or girls, they go to a, a restaurant and they socialize. It's drink coffee, smoke cigarettes, right. and eat and all we, night. Yeah. yeah, you eat, right? I've seen you guys. At Swingers, they used to do it all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't like it. I just, I, I just, it just, uh, I, I can just, you can. <laughs> no, go ahead. I just, when Express you walk yourself. in and they're, I'm like, hey, can we get the table in the back? You know, that, that corner of swingers I used to love. And yeah, they're yeah. like, there, there's a group back there. I'm like, it's the fucking addicts. <laughs> <laughs> they're always back I know, there. They're always back and there. they're drinking coffee all night. So yeah, they're yeah. never going to give they're up the good leave. fucking they're tables. They never leave. No, I hate it. They always have the good tables. All right, it's fine. Fucking addicts. It's fine. <laughs> it's fucking addicts. I knew every time they're like, I, I, I there's know. a group back there. I'm like, God damn. Fucking so anyway, so addicts. So after, and sometimes when you go to a meeting, um, you go around to people and go, hey, you guys going to go out and eat? No. Oh, some people are like that. Right. And so one day I was at a meeting and that happened. Are you guys going to go on? Yeah, but no, no, we're going somewhere else. You know, and nobody, but Tom was there. Mm -hmm. This old guy. Mm -hmm. He goes, I'll eat with you. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I'm 17. Okay. So go, All right. Where do you want to go? He's like, I love eating with little boys. <laughs> yeah. Boys. Let's go to the delicatessen or whatever. A deli. Yeah. Yeah. I say call it delicatessen. Delicatessen. Yeah, so we go to the delicatessen <laughs> and we're just sitting there eating and he goes, um, you know what I used to do, right? And I go, what? He goes, I used to work for the military, you know? And I go, oh, and I'm just eating like an omelet. Mm -hmm. I go, oh, that's interesting. You know what I mean? I, mean, I can't wait to get out of there. Mm -hmm. He goes, they're after me. I love this guy. <laughs> why, why? I love this guy. Because they're after me. I why go, is it only white guys? I don't know why. It's I us. Go, and I, I'm scared now because you. I'm from the suburbs. Yeah. At this point, I've never seen a black person. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. So, I don't know. So you think black people are after him? No, I don't know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know anything. If I saw an American Indian, I would probably, you know I mean, cry with right. joy. Right. Pick up. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm just like no, no. I'm just like I'm innocent. You're, yes. Yeah, because all my drug dealings and stuff happened in Poway. San Diego. From where I'm from. Tiny little neighborhood. Right, a little neighborhood. So I don't know anything outside this world. Okay. Right? So I go, oh, cool. And he goes, um, in fact, uh, they're after me. I go, oh, you know, I'm eating. Yeah, okay. And he sure. goes, I'm living out of my van. <laughs> and I go, Tom. and now I'm scared because I've seen TV shows 
You know what I mean? This is where you die. Yeah, and I know, I know what happens to little boys in vans. Right. All right. He's like, finish your omelet. He goes, uh, do you hear about the little grays? <laughs> I know about the little grays, he said. Mm-hmm. And I go, and I'm like, what is it? Now you're interested. I don't know what what's a little gray. He goes, they live, they've been living amongst us for many, many years. They live underneath one. I don't know. I don't remember which one. I was young. So I don't remember which, which military, you know what I mean? Compound. Area but, 51? No, it wasn't military area 51. It was some in somewhere in Virginia or whatever. And he goes, they live, you know what I mean? Amongst themselves. They're little. They can read. They have telepathy. They have kinetic powers and whatnot right yeah and um they live amongst us and i go oh and he goes i stole uh files from the military that's why they're after me <sighs> right that's right. what he says to me right so i go oh and he goes i could show you why is he showing a 17 year old boy i do right it's during the day though too and the parking lot's like you know what i mean okay Packed. So he said, come out to the yeah, van. Yeah, it's a very popular delicatessen. Come on out to the van. Yeah, so I go to the van. Let me show you the files in the van. <laughs> yeah. So he opens up the back door, right? And I see a mattress, mm. right? And I'm a, now I'm in a point where it's like, I know I can run. Right, you're outside. Yeah. He also, he's an AA. He's a nice guy. So um, <laughs> now, I'm not kidding you. On the side of this fucking van, mm-hmm. right, there's a shotgun, guns, ammo. Inside the yeah, van. Yeah, inside. Yeah. There's files. Right, there's like a suit. Yep. Right, there's clothing in you know in the corner of the van. Right, um, there, I think there's like a little stove. Yep, he's well, got to eat. He's got to eat, right? But it's like you know, it looked like you know a zombie apocalypse van. It looks like a crazy person who steals little Asian boys and takes them in the van and says, "No, no, files no, that's in not there. true." And he and he goes in the van, comes out with these military documents. As far as you know. As far as I know, but right. you know, I've never seen a military document before. That's why they looked legit with the yeah. stamps. Got to have a stamp. What do you mean? Military always stamp stuff. That's yeah, there's that's photographs. How, if there's anything you know about the military, they stamp photographs. The photographs. Cut to. So I see them right, and I go. Anyway, I gotta go home. I'm in school, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, you know, I go home, and then maybe a year later, I don't see him for a year. Tom's gone. Yeah, I see him a year later. And now he looks different. His eyes are like bug eyed. Mm -hmm. He's got like hair like this. Drugs? No. Okay. Right? And he just looks skinny. Drugs. And he looks fearful. Drugs. Okay. I don't know. Right. Don't don't make assumptions. Well, he he was in AA with you. You're just mad about the swingers. Go ahead. You're mad about swingers. I know what happened. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I go, hey, man, how's it going? He goes, I don't have long left. Right. Drugs. And then I never saw him again. Yeah. This is drugs. No, the military. Bobby, he died of drugs, not aliens. The military got him. No, the, dr- the, the alien heroin. The military. Came the mil- and, and was like, Ooh, yeah. no, the military. The military. You think him. the military little guys got him? Yeah, yeah. Look up UFO. Look up government. Government admits UFO. Don't hold your breath for a breakthrough, but still, the Department of Defense confirmed just. They're here. But isn't it fucked up? They're all- here. But don't you remember when we were kids? When we were kids, yeah. all we ever heard was they were like, that's bullshit. It's fake. The, the government shut it down constantly, right? Yeah. They used to be like, that's not true. Yeah. There is no UFO. Uh, the, the moon landing was real. You know, they told us all these lies. The earth is round. All these lies they've given us over the years. I, I know. Look, she's yawning again. I know. <laughs> you need anger management classes. Sure. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Here mm-hmm. we go. You're there. It's right here. It's pouring out. You're going to cry. You're gonna cry, rage. I wish I could cry. Yeah, yeah. I I haven't cried. When was the last time you cried, Rudy? Last night. <laughs> yeah, she cried. Why did time. you cry? A movie. What Mo- movie did you see? Movie. Mortal was... Kombat. <laughs> it was a love. No, Sub Zero. No. <laughs> what did you cry for? It was a love story. Oh, a walk to remember. <laughs> oh, I love a walk to remember. Did you see it? Yes. Have you seen this no. movie? Are you kidding me? No. What a cute movie. What it was good. It's really sweet. Oh, it's, Man- it's, it's Mandy Moore. It's Mandy Moore. And what's the guy's name? What a movie. A Walk I to pass. Remember. <laughs> do, you want even, do you even know what it's about? I don't like love stories. This is beautiful. Mandy Moore. And what's his name? Shane West? Shane West. So Mandy Tell Moore. Me, oh Mandy God. Moore. Oh God, Mandy Moore please. is Mandy Moore is paralyzed. She from gets the into, what? Huh? From the, from the neck down. Why is it always the neck down? Why can't it be from the ears down? <laughs> 
<laughs> well, because you can still feel your ears usually, because this is two separate. Uh, oh, it is. Yeah. I'm not a doctor. So Mandy, Mandy gets <laughs> Mandy Moore. This movie gets in a tragic, a tragic car accident right after high school. This is her high school boyfriend, right? Yeah, yeah. She gets paralyzed from the neck down. Is this true? Yeah. Okay. She gets paralyzed from the neck down, Mandy Moore. Okay. Yeah. This everyone goes off to college and does their thing. Meanwhile, you know she's you know she's totally bugged out in a wheelchair. She's Stephen Hawking basically. Okay. And everyone goes off to college. Now, now this guy moves back into town because his mom is sick, right? So he comes back into town. Years later. Years later. Years like down the road. How many years? I think it's like five. What is it? Five or six years? It's, five or six years. He moves back into town. Comes back into this small little town. Yeah. Okay, in Tennessee. Yeah. And he comes back and sees old Mandy and woo doo 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 in her chair. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Please. Yeah. And he and and they form a love connection. Because of yeah. the the lose the loss of his mother, and that Mandy herself had lost her mother as well in the car accident. Okay, so then what happens? This is insane. You're not going to believe this. You're not going to believe this. He gets her to walk. He actually gets her to walk. How? He could he creates a like he's a he's a he's a um. Why are engineer. you laughing? Nothing. It's just he knows the details. Because I did love this movie. He, oh, you so he's. I feel like he's making it up. No, he's this not. is the movie. Yeah, it this, doesn't seem real to me. It, he's an engineer. It doesn't because I'm saying he if, comes back. He falls in love with this girl. He's an engineer, right? He, he he was a he was an aerospace engineer, right? He comes back. He builds her a contraption to get her out of the chair, and it physically makes her walk on the beach for the first time. Be, uh, let's be honest. Okay. So it's a walk to, her, and she's physically walking on the beach together. Can I just it's ask? Can I ask you the a most beautiful movie ask, I've ever can I ask seen? You a question. What? Um, let's suppose I've never seen this movie. But I want to see it. <laughs> You've never seen it? No. Yeah. So you were lying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a great. But imagine her on the beach yeah, walking yeah, yeah. and he's machine operating <laughs> a that walk was to really remember. Good. That was really good. So you never saw it? No, I have, <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what that it. movie yeah, 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 is. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea. What is it about, Roots? Yeah. The girl has a sickness. Cole told you. Uh, well, you knew that. Did you know that? These movies are all the same, Poppy. Yeah, these are yeah. written. These are written in a format. Andres knows what this is because he, he went to film school with the guy that probably wrote it. Mm. These guys all write the same movie. She's sick, or he's sick, and there's a family, and there's a love connection, and there's a guy that comes in the middle of it, yeah. or or someone else, or her brother doesn't like him. These movies are there's a billion of them. Uh, they're Hallmark. You ever seen Hallmark films? Yeah. There's a Hallmark film. She, the guy goes. There's a girl in the big city, and she moves back to the small town, or vice versa. And it's like, oh, what's going on? Big hot, shot, hot, big city, hot shot. It's all the same. And then they find out that they all they need is love, and you don't need money or work and whatever. And <laughs> look at that. When Landon Shane West decides he wants to make his activity series, he asks Jamie Mandy Moore to help, uh, and begins to spend most of the time with her. He starts to develop strong feelings for the two started relationship, but the heartbreaking secret becomes known that puts their relationship to the test. Which is, of course, she's sick. She's gonna die. Yada yada. This is the same as. Uh, uh, fucking what's the Macaulay Culkin movie with the bees when stung by the bees? My girl, killer bees. my girl, oh. killer bees. <laughs> yeah. uh, so let me let me ask you. It's all something. the same movie, but to me, just the premise in itself. I'm gonna sound so bad right now, but just uh, let's be honest with ourselves. I'm here. All right. It does. It's like if you're dating somebody right in high school. Okay. You don't have the you know, or even early early twenties, and your girl like I'm your girlfriend. Let's suppose. And I said, "Are we gay for this part?" Or no, 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 no. I'm a girl. <laughs> all for right, this, all right, fine, fine. All right. So, fine. can we be half hermaphrodites? Yes, about that's it. what okay. I like. Okay, okay. okay yeah. No, so you're yeah. dating. We're dating in high school for yeah. real. Go. Yeah. And I think I should be the guy because this is my point. <sighs> okay. You be the girl for that's this. Fine. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I'm secure enough. <laughs> hey, baby. Yeah. What's up? How did the doctor appointment go? <laughs> Wait a minute. I don't want to play that character like that. That's cheesy. Yeah, yeah. Just go ahead. Do it again. All right. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, what up? No. Why? I don't like it. She's post op. I know she's not post op. No, no, no. Because I, I, why can't I play the girl that I want to play? Can you just play? Uh, you're post op. You want to play post op? Just go again. All it's right. fine. All right. I got to go deeper though. That's fine. If you're gonna go deep, I got to go deeper. But you don't have a deep voice. I'm gonna try. All right, go ahead. Hey, baby. <laughs> ship Station USA. You know how we ship products uh, here on the show, like this very beautiful shirt that uh, we've got. Listen, ship every station. business I have, I use ShipStation to put my products out there yeah. because it is so reliable. And if you ha you have any kind of online business, if not you're using ShipStation, you're going to be in the dust, baby. Yeah, I don't know why you would use anything else. No matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, your own website, they funnel all your orders into one simple interface. makes it very they easy. They funnel it, man. Yeah, it's very simple. It doesn't matter what you're selling, Amazon, Etsy, your own website. Yeah. ShipStation yep. funnels all... You just, like, like you said, I have to... 
repeat it because it's so important that, that you said <laughs> that. Look, you can ship with any carrier using uh, deeply discounted rates, import orders from any sales channel, and, auto and automate just about any shipping task. And they, they carriers include UPS, uh, USPS, FedEx, FedEx, USPS, right. They do everybody. Easily compare the carriers. Can I read one? Or, the best I want to say one thing. This do is very one. important. With ship stations, small businesses can access the same rates usually reserved, guess what, for Fortune 500 companies. That's huge. Without any contracts or commitments. Hey, man, you want to ship more in less time? Use our offer code BADFRIENDS to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months for free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Bad friends. Just go to ShipStation.com, <laughs> click on the microphone at the top of the page, and type in bad friends. Bye -bye. ShipStation.com, enter code bad friends. Make ship, ship happen. happen. Keeps. Keeps on this message is, and I love this um, company because this is for Andreas. Yeah. Andreas, two out of three of men will experience some form of hair loss by the age of 35, Andreas. Yeah. Yep. More than 50 million m men, including Andreas, in the U.S., <laughs> suffer from male pattern baldness. Yeah. There are only two FDA-approved medications that can prevent hair loss, and Keeps offers both they of them. They offer both. The you, simple, stress-free right, way to keep there's your hair. no excuse we're all thinning as we get older. Uh, I'll put myself in that category big time. And Please. This, this is incredible. They're, they're low cost. Finally. Treatments start at just $10 a month and keeps offers generic versions. Discreet packaging, proven results. Uh, it comes right to your doorstep. It's nice and beautiful and easy. Prevention keeps is more the than, key. Keeps, uh, Andrew. Yeah. And Andreas keeps has more than five has more five star reviews than any other competitor. Hey man, prevention is the key. Your hair is probably going to fall out of your head if you're uh, if you're a dude. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so you better start doing it now. All right, if you're ready to take action, prevent your hair loss. Go to keeps.com, k e e p s dot com slash bad friends to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's for free. free. Yeah, that's keeps. That's K keeps. Let me do it. Yeah, that's keeps k e e p s dot com slash bad friends. Get, to get your first month free, keeps.com slash bad friends. K E E P S dot com slash bad, bad friends. friends. <laughs> 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 Hi, baby. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Man, I love you, boo. I love you too. So, what's going on? How, what was the doctor's appointment like? Pretty bad. I got three letters for you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. H, H, I, V, <laughs> H I V. <laughs> That's what they said. Holy man! <laughs> because we've been, we've been, we've been fucking with we've our condom. Raw, raw dogging. dogging it. <laughs> yeah, baby. Well, I'm your girl. <laughs> right. You love me. Hold up. So stay right here, okay? I'm gonna make a phone call. You got it. All right. Ring, ring. Hello, doctor. Let's play the doctor. <laughs> Hello. All right. I think I need a HIV test. Okay, you can tomorrow. Okay, you can come Co by tomorrow. two p.m. Okay, I'll be free. Okay, so um. Okay. <laughs> baby. Yeah. I made a doctor's appointment. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, you dying? <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> Wait a minute. What was this about at the beginning? <laughs> We got away from it real bad. <laughs> Wait, you said you said no one in high school. No one in high school. What? Okay, let me. Even in your twenties, I, I, I gotta get. Okay, here's. It what can't is be the HIV? Point? It can't be HIV. Right, I'm dying of cancer. I, it can't be HIV though. Why? Because HIV people you, you get can still it. live with HIV. This is in. When did this movie come out? When did this movie come out? Oh two. That was. It was still maybe. Yeah, there were still people though getting the cocktail. Maybe, but there were. It was tougher yeah, to live yeah. back then. Can it be a different disease? Fine. All right. And the voice, right. can we... All right, we'll switch up the voice. <laughs> let's, yeah, just can, be yeah, you. Yeah, the go. voice is driving me crazy. Okay, go ahead. Well, let's do voices, but let's just figure what that is going to be. Let's okay. surprise me. Okay, perfect. Uh, all right. All right. Hey, baby. Yes. <laughs> no? Cut, no. I can't do a let's face. Let's be normal. Let's just do normal. All right, go yeah, ahead. Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Tell me what the scenario is like. Well, let's improvise it. I know, but what I'm asking... Yeah, what I'm asking, telling you is, is that I don't think that a young couple, right? Uh-huh. I think that if, you know, a, a guy, you know, is dating a girl and she's like, you know, I have this rare disease. I'm going to be dead in six months, right? Yeah. Right? I think that he'll stay with the girl out of guilt. What if he's in love? I don't know. Rudy, well, that you're a hard person. Yeah, ask. women are different. Well, I'm being real. It's like. you're Okay. Well, okay. okay. If Kalila got into. That's a, different because. If Kalila got sick right now. It's different because. You, because you're older. Be, not only am I older, I understand what life is much more. Sure. You know what I mean? I, you know, I have more days, you know what I mean, behind me than ahead. Well, let's ask Gabs then. She's another woman that's not Rudy then. <laughs> yeah, but women have a different point of view. I, I feel like if I, like, 
if I had some terminal disease and Kalila had to take care of me, it would be far different than if it was vice versa. Why? My feeling, because I just don't know how to do it emotionally at, like a woman does. You're saying her strength, or they're stronger than you. Yeah, it's like, you know, um, I need to go to the appointment to get, you know what I mean, my spine, you know what I mean, you re, know, re, 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 regenerated, regenerated or whatever, yeah. right? And I'm like, where do we got to go? And every, we have to do regeneration therapy Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and it's in Santa Barbara. So noon, we, noon to two. Yeah, and we have to get up at seven in the morning. And then I, it would just be one of those things where it's like- Spine regeneration. Yeah, I, it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be like, I'll go, I, I'll obviously go, yeah, we'll do it, right? But it's going to like, I think it'll show on my face. <laughs> You, you like would, in the morning, just be like, "All right, let's go." So, so if Kalila needed spine regeneration and she was, I would done, do it. I would do it begrudgingly. <laughs> but you're lazy, Tito Bobby. There, there you. it is, they, and that's exactly and my that's point. That's exactly correct. Not a lot of guys are lazy. Maybe Tito Andrew isn't lazy. That's right. All right. No, I would take her to do it, and I wouldn't even think about it. Either would I. But you just said <laughs> you I'm being would, honest. You said you. I'm being too. It I don't bother me. I think I, I, I don't think you're being honest. No, I'm being genuine. If she said I so had to go, every Monday, you have to wake up six. That it wouldn't even. No, because I wake up on Monday and, and she's I, gonna die anyway in six months. Oh uh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Because then, you're then right. I, I get, okay. then it's a countdown. Yeah, me too. Me How too. exciting! Me too. Six months. <laughs> me too. Me too. Then every month, I'm just like five more months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How about this? If Kalila got into a tragic car accident yeah. and she was paralyzed from the neck down, yeah. would you stay? Yeah, you would stay. One hundred percent. Because it'd be easy to leave. I wouldn't. She couldn't even. How could she catch you? <laughs> no, there's no way. Because your house isn't wheel wheelchair ready. No, because her and I have. Um, let me it, history. No, no, just it's not just history. It what what it's a clearly I'm kidding. Of course you would. It's say. a it's a um a connection that's far beyond just the physical. Right. If you if if I can say it's probably more than it's probably almost never not because physical. she was today or she was talking about how like, your relationship is maybe not physical at all anymore. <laughs> we are physical, but. Uh, today she was talking about how when she was born or it, growing up, yeah, growing up, um, there was these two s teenage girls that were murdered in the Philippines and they had their titties cut off, right? What the fuck? Uh, and she knew a guy that was accused of it, whatever it might be. You right? knew the guy? No, she no, didn't. She I wasn't born yet. <laughs> oh, so, Kalila did. But I was like, she's like, it could have been me and my sister, right? That got sure. our titties cut off, right? And then my response after that was like, Oh, well, then my life would have been completely worse than it is now. Because, because she didn't have tits? No. If she had died, you know what I mean, in the 70s or 80s, right? Right. Then, and I never met her, I don't know if I would be here with you right now. I don't think, I think my life would be completely different. Butterfly effect. For sure. Everything would be different if yeah, it was yeah. different. I think it would be way worse because it's like- Well, that's hard to say. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why, though, I think that's true, is because- um, Everything that's positive in my life is because of her. is is a direct result of meeting her. That's probably you know I mean? true. In terms of just, um, just the trajectory of my career, the trajectory of you know wanting to get better as a human being, the tra tra trajectory of like just everything. You think if Kalila wasn't what didn't check you down when you relapsed, if you didn't have her, that would have been the. I end? might have still been out there. You know what I mean? Right. But it's not even just that. It's like when I did. <laughs> Years ago, when we lived in that apartment in on Beechwood, mm -hmm. she was like, um, "We should do a podcast," and I'm like, "No." Mm -hmm. She goes, "Well, I'm going to do one on my own then." Go ahead. She went to the guitar center by herself. Right. She set it up in the room, and she did it on her own for like a month. Right. And then one day, I walked by her. The door was open, and she was just sitting there in mic and just doesn't know what to say. <laughs> You know, she's just sitting there. She had done it, right? And I just kind of went, all right, we'll do one. So I would go, let's just call it Tiger Belly. And she's like, why? And I'm like, because no one's going to listen to this anyway. It doesn't make any sense as a non sequitur. Right. Right? And we started doing it. And then here we are. You know what I mean? I, I'm a podcaster. Yeah. Right? Because of that experience. Yeah, correct. Yeah, so it's like so everything her, that she I has had. had a positive effect. Everything. Yes. Everything. So without her, you'd be worthless. I might be. Truly. Who knows? I could have found something else in life, but um, mm. I think I might have got it COVID because she's so, you know what I mean, adamant, right? She was very strict about this pandemic. And, yeah. And I followed her, you know, the rules of the house. You sure did. What do you mean? No, you did. I did. And I didn't get it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I got it. I know you did. A little bit cooler than you. <laughs> no. 
little irresponsible. bit cooler than you. Irresponsible. It was a little bit cooler than you. No. And you got your, I got and you got your wife sick. At the, oh, not only her, I got 55 other people sick. When I found out I had it, I went out. I didn't stay at home. I was out, out and about. Starbucks, no mask. Coffee, <coughs> thank you, please. Next, Trader Joe's. <coughs> You know what I mean? Everywhere I went, dude, I was <laughs> was spreading it, what dude. I was so I you're loved a it. Douchebag. I loved it. You're a douchebag. And people are like, "Oh, sir, you're not wearing a mask." I'm like, "So what? I came up from Huntington Beach." <laughs> I was coughing, dude, spitting and coughing. I wasn't irresponsible. I got the mask. I got it with a friend outside. How how do you know? We got it from Christy. <laughs> I know from Chris's friend. His Mexican friend. Is Mexican, friend? You misquoted what he was like a thousand times. That doesn't matter. He's not Mexican. I know, but he's a stand-up? He is. Does he feel bad about it? He does. Uh -huh. He should. It's, he so, should. it's something about me that like won't let certain things go. Like what? Like I have this thing where it's like, and I, 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 want, I want to change this about myself where like, you know, like my falling out with the La Jolla Comedy Store. Mm -hmm. You can always bounce back. But do you know what happened, right? I do. Yeah. You want to talk about and it? And I'll never, yeah, I'll talk about it. I just can't forgive this guy. Sure. You know what I mean? And I'll, it, but why can't you forgive people? That's the thing. I, it's something that I have within myself, whereas I have a, I, I get a grudge. Yes, you hold a I grudge. And I hold it in my heart. It's gross. Forever. Get rid of that. I know, but it can't. But that's going to kill you faster than it kills them. It doesn't hurt me. I don't, it doesn't. It does subconscious. You don't even know it, but it does. Huh. Th things like that do hurt us. It's like, um, I'll tell you what happened. I, you know that club got gutted and closed at one point. Did you know that? Yeah, I do. Okay. So that, that club. So, so, so the, no, no, no. So the manager what? No, 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 no. The manager what? When I was a kid, yeah. right? I, and I went into that club, mm -hmm. right? And Mitzi one day said, I'm closing it down. Right. Okay. He was losing money. No. She's like, I'm moving it. She moved the comedy store to the beach. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, on the coast of Law. You weren't around then. No, I heard about. It. I know. Yeah, yeah. I know the story. So then, that comedy store, the one that we know in Pearl La Jolla, Street, right? Yeah, was completely gutted. It was going to be like a furniture shop. Right. Right. The beach. There was no parking there, so she, they started freaking out. And the last second, she's like, "Let's go back," right? But now the club was gutted. Right. So me, Freddie Soto, guys like Johnny Sanchez, when we were kids, we went in there. And we put the bamboo on the wall, in the bamboo. Yeah. Right? We built the stage. We were we went in there, put carpeting down. We we did it all. Right? Then I worked there, right? As a doorman. Yeah. Right? That place it was my fucking home. I know every crack of that club. Right. Right. It's like, you know, it's like um your hometown house that you grew up in. Mm. Do you can you imagine that? It burned down. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all right. I did it. <laughs> <laughs> really funny but I know what you mean yes it's like so anyway yeah. so now after I was in Ma on Mad TV or whatever mm -hmm. right maybe after a little after that and I had to do a special not special but a stand up set on TV I forgot what it was sure so I wanted to work out a set so I called the La Jolla Comedy Store and I, I, I talked to a doorman and I go yo what's going on tonight he's like the best of San Diego so I go or I'm going to drive down because I don't want to work it out here in Lo in Hollywood. And I just want to work it out there. He's like, come on down. So I drive two and a half hours or whatever it is right. to La Jolla. I go into the club. And this manager who I didn't even know, he was new there, right? I go, all right, when can I go up? And he goes, you can't go up here. And I go, why? Because we're doing pretty funny women. Uh, right? Yeah. So then I go, all right, well, I'll wait, and I'll just go up at the end. Compromise. What year is this? This must be 2005. You're, you're on MAD. Yeah. Okay. Right? So you say, I want to go up the end of the show that's called Pretty Funny Women. Yeah. <laughs> Which gives, gives women opportunity that usually they didn't have a lot of spots. Exactly. But right. I, I'm at the, I'll go up at the end. But I want to go at the end. Yeah. The headline, the Pretty Funny Women show. Special guest. Got it. Okay, you're making me mad right now. I'm agreeing with you. <laughs> I, I literally just I said think, got I, it. I don't. I don't think so. I just said got it. I'm just trying to figure out the the, the context. I need context. Oh, okay, if it was like an all Hispanic show, <laughs> right? 
you pretty funny bees. Yeah. And you And I popped in. Popped in. At the level that you're at now, mm-hmm. right? Imagine the talent on the thing, there's no name that these are it's a basically open mic night. Right. I walk in and they're like, hey, it's hot tamale night. Right, right. And, and like, you go, yeah, I'll go up at the end. You know, it's like. Okay, so just go back. You said I want to go up at the end. And yeah, the manager and goes, said. No. Right. So I got back in my car and I drove away. But I told him, um, maybe, I'm, I do a, maybe I sound like a baby. What did, what did you say? I said, I, if you don't put me up right now, I drove two and a half hours. Right. You know, I'm never going to play this club again. Can I, can I ask? And he goes, fine. Really? Yeah. Did you, t- did you call anybody and say I'm coming down? That I just told you I did. Who who did you contact? I them? called the door the the phone guy in, during the day, and the phone guy was like, cool. "Come on down." Right, miscommunication. So did you? You should have said to the manager. Didn't the phone guy tell you I'm coming? Yeah, I and probably he, said that. And he was like, "No, he didn't tell me." Yeah. And then you're like, "Oh, okay. Well, then fire that guy because that's his fault." That's fine. I don't. I'm not gonna. All the doormen and the phone guys are all stand ups, right? Yeah. So I'm not gonna fucking um let a ruin somebody's dream. Sure, but then. Well then, so but it's not the manager. It's fault. not that big of a deal. It's La Jolla. Just put me up. Okay, but it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal. So go back. No. No, because but it's all. Over. I already said if you don't put me up, yeah, I'm never coming back here. And he goes, "That's fine with me." Right. So I go. At that point, I'm like, now I can never come back. But what I'm telling you is, it doesn't bother him. It's it bothers you. It doesn't bother me. This is going back to my original point. We harbor those things, and it doesn't hurt him. He doesn't lose any sleep about it. It doesn't. He didn't, he's never even thought about it since it happened, but it does bother you because it's you know still know it so well. So what you want me to do is go. I'm back. I want you to go. Hey, I, I want to come back. And then he, he, I see the guy, and he'll go, dude. It's so great to have you here. We, wish, go, we oh. wish you came over the years. I'm sorry that that fucking thing happened. God, you're making me so mad right now. But it's so <laughs> real. But I'm telling you, what you 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 can fix something that. Is not even a problem. No, I will refuse. I refuse. You know what it is? Because let no, me, no, let me no, give no. you a parallel. No, no, when Rogan no, left, no, the, no, no, when no, Rogan told the story, I refuse. Until, I'll tell you why I refuse. Okay, when he's fired, what if he fire, he gets fired or quits? Then will you go back? Oh yeah. Okay, so it's all him. Yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. I'll I'll go. Or he could call me and go. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> but what did he do? For not, I'm sorry for not putting you up on the Pretty Funny Women show. <laughs> But that is a funny quote. I'm sorry for not putting you up on the Pretty Funny Women show. Right. If it was like in LA, right? Yeah. And it's like- But it's not LA. I, just listen to what I'm saying, right? Right. If, if the lineup is like Sarah Tiana, Sarah Silverman, you know what I mean? Whitney Cummings, and they're- and I, Ali 100, Long. 100% I'd be like, Eliza you Slushinger. know what? I can't be on the show. But why not? Because I'm not a woman. But but why could you be on the other show? Because it's like a because, packed room and it's like, you know. Because they I'm, weren't famous enough, the other women. Exactly. Right. And you understand my point of view, right? I don't. I mean, I know why you feel that way, but I don't think you're right. Right. I think you're wrong. You I do. love you, but I think you're wrong. Okay. I think the manager was put in a bad position. Mm-hmm. And then you, now after all these years, you're big Bobby Lee. You're, you're in space right now of comedy. You can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. Why don't you just go, well, then- I want to come ask, back. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Can I ask you another question? Of course. Is there any level mm. that you can be yes. to get put up on that stage? Yes. If Chris Rock, let me just ask you, if Chris Rock drove down there, right. could he go up there? He wouldn't do that. Oh, no, that's not true because I've seen, I was a doorman at the La Jolla comedy No, what show. I'm saying is if Chris, that's Chris true. would call and go, I'm coming to come, to come down and I'm coming up and they would make it a thing. Right. Right. So my point is, if so, you were more famous, they would have been like, yo, Chappelle is coming and the whole show would have shut down. So what you're saying to me right now is that I just wasn't famous enough <laughs> to make that happen. Well, to make the thing a thing, yeah. You weren't famous enough to try to bump someone on the Pretty Funny Women show. Right, so there's a level that you can, though. And I still don't think you d- should. But is there... It happens all the time. It happens, but it, but it's like... But it only should happen if like... But like, I think all headliners know... Why would you need it? You don't need to go... No, because I remember one time I was a the door- circumstances. And listen, are so I was a specific. doorman. I was a doorman, right, yeah. at the comedy store in La Jolla. And yeah. on Tuesday nights, uh, Fred Burns gave us the room. So they go, "It's all six of you. We're doorman. You guys work your ass off to pack this room." So we would take these f- tickets, flyers, yeah. and go to back then. It was called Jack Murphy Stadium. Yeah. And we and when there was a Padres game, uh-huh. right, we would pass out these tickets, free tickets, and we right? sold out this room. Oh no, it was paid. No, I mean we. It was a yeah, it was a papered room. Papered room, yeah. 
but we got the whole Tuesday night. It was packed. Dope. Right? Yeah. Our show. I love those right? days. We showed up and Chris Rock was in town. Cool. This is before Bring Your Pain, though. Bring the pain. Bring the pain. Right. All right? And they go, Chris is going to go up. Yeah. In the middle of it. He got a lot. And to do an hour. That's awesome. Right? And there's nothing we could do. That's right. He went up. That's right. Did it. Right. And then some of us weren't able to go up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And some of us got fucked. And we worked really hard to do the show. My point is, that's, you know what I mean? But you're not Chris Rock. I under, but it, I was, but I, I know. <laughs> I understand that. But this is Chris. Let, just let me defend myself. But you're not Chris Rock. I understand. But this is Chris Rock, right? Chris Rock um, was, became huge. Huge. After Bring the Pain. Huge. Right? Yep. Before Bring the Pain. But before that, we knew. It was Chris Rock. Hmm. He was fucking phenomenal. Right, but so it's so what you're saying is, is Chris that Rock arguably then I could have probably bu- just so what you're saying your point is I could have bumped, right? Yeah. Pretty funny woman if I was Chris Rock. Yeah. And I wasn't big enough. That's right. Okay. So and that's since the deal. since that so, the, since the circumstances were were Because but it's also I want to add this little thing into it. It's also my home club. I know. I, 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 That's I why I think there, you should squash this. And it, and it beca- no, I will not. I refuse to. How about this? And no, I'm, no, I refuse to. How about, and li- no, how about, here's how about here. we do a bad I'm gonna double friend. down. How about we do a bad friend show? Then? I'm going to double Would down. Would you do it with me? No, I'm not. Refuse. I'm going to double down now. Right. Double down. I'm going to do everything I can from not, from this point forth. Mm-hmm. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm like a little baby. I love it. All right. From this point forward. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm going to do everything I can. I will never give up. To take the club down. <laughs> no, not the club. To make the club up. I will never give up. I'm gonna get, try to get as big yeah. as I fucking can. Let's do it. And let me say something right now, right? Uh-huh. I'm in a very good trajectory right now. You're killing it. Are you being sarcastic? You're killing. Don't it. Don't make me mad. You're killing it. What else? And do you I'm gonna know? do everything I can to get bigger and bigger. bigger. Did you watch any of the Pretty Funny Women? Did you stay for any of it? Seriously? You have me in such a bad mood. I don't know if I can <laughs> continue. You did this. I didn't do this. I you talked you, I about it. I just wanted you to agree with me. <laughs> what I agree with you on yeah. is um, it, was a, f- it was a being, fucked up. Devil's it was, it was, it, that, that, you, you know the show. You know what the show is, eh? <laughs> it was a fucked up situation. Yeah. It was not fair, but I don't think you should hold it out to your San Diego fans. How about that? If you yawn again, dude, it's been the whole show. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been the whole <laughs> show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't want to be here. And the worst part is the fans like you, and that's what's so annoying. It's is they so don't even annoying. You don't even want to be so much. This is doing so much for your life. Right. So anyway, um, pull the mic up to your face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, it's so. It's just the one rule. It's not this ever. It's never been. It's yeah. right here always. Listen, guys. I, I want to be here. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. So here's the deal. All right. I just want to do a group apology. Okay. All right. You you have a tendency because I I love you so much. I love you. We're like we're family. We are to really dig in, right? And to get me there. Yeah. And you got me there for the first time, right? <laughs> but let me tell you something, right? It'll never happen again. You got it. Uh, no, it's not that I got it. Don't even do that, right? <laughs> what I'm going to say to you is, is this. I, right, am acting like a child about it. Yeah. About that situation. Right. And I am going to grow. I and love become that. better. I love that. And so what I'm going to say to everyone in this room is, is that. Listen up, everyone. Everyone in this room, all right? You know, thank you f- for being involved in this project that we're doing, yeah. right? Um, let's take one foot in front of the other and step into the future, let's into the it. bright future. I like it. And I want to say that I really appreciate everyone's energy and positive energy here, right? And I'm not going to let you, right? God bless. Yeah, your psychological, mental attacks on me. I didn't do anything. I understand that, but you know how to fuck, you know the my buttons, right? And I know yours, and I'm not going to press them because I'm a good person. I didn't my press point any is your buttons. This, yeah, you did. And my point is, is this, okay? Thank you so much, um, Gabby, for being here. Thank you so much. Um, fancy fancy b for being here you're yawning it's fine keep do be you all right <laughs> right and that's you why they like her. right your rage eyes it's not gonna affect me let's move on you want to play a fucking program let's do another program in the show let's go what do we got <laughs> let's do it let's play games here man i feel great okay, okay. okay. all okay. right okay so andres introduce what you've got yeah, introduce for... what we got so we because we love movies so much in this show, we selected a few super famous popular movies in the U.S. Uh, for Rudy to tell us what the plot is about based on the poster and the title. This is great. Okay, but before we go into that, can I just mention something real quick, though? Of yeah. course. Because uh, I, I am the co-50% of this. 
What the? I didn't say anything. I know, but I'm just for for some reason I have to. <laughs> I mean, did right now it basically I'm Scorpion and you're Sub Zero. I'm Raiden. Oh no, you're not Raiden. I'm Raiden. You're not Raiden at all. How am I not Raiden? Because Raiden's a good guy. I am Raiden. No, you're not. You're definitely like Cabal. Jax. You're not Jax. You're not black. Yes, I am. Or, I can be whatever I want. All right, you're Sub. All right, I'll be Sub Zero. You're Chung Lee. Oh, that's right. I am. You're Chung Lee for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, first of all, I would be Scorpion. He's the only one that's close to my color of red. That's true. No, no, no. I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, yeah. Because Scorpion throws fire, dude. I'm, yeah. I'm Scorpion. You're Chung Lee. Yeah. And you are. Um, She's uh, what's Melanie? What's her name? Milena. Mil- yeah, Milena. 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 Any what? It, what? Oh, it's about movies. Is what I want. Let's go back to the movie thing that we're gonna do. I had a discussion with Kawhi all the time because we, you know, we mentioned um, Three Amigos. Like, and I go, I can't believe you haven't seen that to to this one. And then Kawhi goes, Well, she was born in this time, right? But it's like I know who the Beatles are. Exactly. I, I hate that argument because it's like when I was, you know, a kid, right? I saw Citizen Kane. That was in the fifties, right? You right. mean I saw? Um, I know what on the Young waterfront. Frankenstein was in, in my. Right. You know what I mean, I I go for I watch. The classics. If it's good, everyone will know it for the rest right, of time. Right, so it's like you should have seen this movie already. Yeah, and you haven't seen this film. No, I haven't. Okay, so, okay, so okay. based so, on the movie, yeah. the poster, tell us what's ab- what it's about. <laughs> Can you zoom, zoom in? Zoom in. Yeah. What's a Shawshank? Well, that, you got to make it up. You got to figure it out. You have to up. tell us. Tell us what it is. It's about two guys. Yeah. In the military. Correct. Yeah, that's correct. That's actually That's right. what I actually know. That's How right. do you know that? I don't know. Yeah. What else? And then it's World War One. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then they. <sighs> yeah. What do they do? <laughs> What's Shawshank? <laughs> that's what you... a war. That, it's a, that's it's the a war. war. Okay. Okay. Okay, so two guys in the military, and they the, they are the ones that defeated the enemy in Shawshank. Yeah, yeah. And they freed the people who were imprisoned. Exactly. That's actually right. That's exactly right. That's actually right. <laughs> yeah. And and the guy on the right is Morgan Freeman. <laughs> yeah, yes. we know that. Yeah. The guy on the right, his name in the movie is. It's a dead giveaway. It's a nickname based after what they used to call him when he was a kid. They would look at his picture. They would call him. Deshaun. 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 <laughs> Deshaun. Yeah, Deshaun. Deshaun. And the guy on the left, his nickname, or well, his name in the movie is his nickname, and he looks like Nick. Nick. Nick and Deshaun. Nick and Deshaun. <laughs> they're, Deshaun they're in the Shawshank War. <laughs> yep. Right? They go in, they liberate the town. Yeah. Free the guys from the prison, right? Look in the bottom, what happens? See, what ha- that right there the is bottom? the moment that is you that? need. To- what is that? What is that? Titanic? Yeah, it's the Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> Exactly. So w- this is crazy. You're not going to believe this, but yeah. that scene from the Titanic uh-huh. was actually in this movie first. They did that scene in this movie. Yeah. And then the Titanic stole it. So it's an homage it's to homage. World War One. He's actually on a boat. He's on the head of a boat because, you know, Shawshank, right? The war. The war is Shawshank is an island. I don't know if you know this. Right, so he's on the boat. It's close to where you grew and up, I, by the you way. You know, I, I'm the king of the world. He says that. I'm the king right, of this right? world. Nick, so Nick, right, is his name? Nick said it, yeah. Nick goes, I'm the king of the world, right? Yeah. And right there, d- does that look like rain? It's not. You know what it is? Blood. It's bullets and blood. <laughs> bullets and blood? Bullets and blood. <laughs> I'm the king of the world. And they, and he, it's and a they lit crazy, up. It's a crazy scene. It's kind of like Scarface when he was like, yeah, ah. you know, and he's getting She's shot up on the back. Scarface. No. Really? <laughs> Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. okay. This Have one, you seen this movie? This one, of course, is an American classic called The Godfather. And yeah, the exactly. Godfather, of course, is about what? Is what? It, what is it about? I've heard about it. But yes. Yeah. Yes. Is it about like gangster? Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It is. And that? And he is a what's mafia. It? Yeah, mafia. <laughs> and what? What's his uh, name? The actor's name. I mean that's next to impossible. That's, yeah, yeah. You do know who that actor. You've he's, seen him before. Yeah, he's European. <laughs> Eastern European. No he looks less. like Joaquin Phoenix. It, his name is Joaquin. <laughs> that's actually good. His yeah, first yeah. name is Joaquin. Joaquin. But his last name isn't Phoenix. His last name is Joaquin. Uh, Cher. 
Sherlinger. 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 Walking Sherlinger. And he plays in the movie. The father. The father. The godfather. The godfather. Very good. Now, now who? Now, at the bottom it says, "I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse." Who did he make the offer to? Who did Joaquin Sherlinger make an offer to? <laughs> the father. The, f- the other father, father. The other father. Because there's more than one father. Of course there is. Well, there you must. have the godfather. Yeah. Right. The regular. But father. you know, other clans have other fathers. Mm-hmm. So there's another father, and he goes, "You know, I'm going to make you an offer that you can't refuse." Do you know what the offer was? What's the offer? The offer was from the godfather to the father. What was it? To save the niece, or he dies. Save the niece, or he dies. Exactly. He did say, "I'm getting you better." I, I, that in yeah. the movie, he said, I'm, "I'm gonna make him save the niece, or he dies." That was one <laughs> yeah. of the scenes. Yeah. That's very good. Yeah, very good. You're actually Excellent. two for two. Ah, uh, uh, another classic. Another Do you know classic. who Clint Eastwood is? Do you know who that man is? No, but right. is his son the one in Suicide Squad? I forgot. He's also handsome. Jared Leto. No. <laughs> Correct. Yes. No. Jared Leto. Jared Leto. No. That's right. Yes. What's his son's name? What's you his know son's it? name? That guy. That guy. That guy. That's exactly right. That's that is. Son. That's Clint Eastwood. Oh, son. it's also Clint Eastwood. Yeah, his name is Clint Eastwood too. <laughs> right. Clint Eastwood Jr. Junior. <laughs> Clint Eastwood Junior. So let's go back to the good, bad, and the ugly. What is this movie about? Cowboys. Exactly. That's exactly but right. what does this mean? The good, the bad, and the ugly. There's a good cowboy, there's a bad, and then there's an ugly cowboy. This looks exactly, exactly right. Exactly. That's kind of like the show. Exactly like the show. <laughs> okay, next one. Uh, this is this is what a classic. What a good one. It was actually shot in another language. You know what other language it was shot in, and then it was translated into English. It, you can Italian. see by looking at it. Exactly, exactly. Shot Italian, in Italian. Exactly. And uh, so the guy in the center, what's his name? Um, well, there's there. Well, there's the names up there. So <laughs> Robert, Robert De Niro. So the guy in the center's name is Robert De Niro. Yeah. The guy on the right. Joe. Yep, Joe. I don't. I can't see the last Pepsi. Name. Joe Pepsi. <laughs> Pepsi. Okay. Joe Pepsi. And the guy to the left is Ray. Yeah. Lota. Lota. Ray Lota. Ray Lota. Ray Lota. And Joe Pepsi. Yeah. And it's called Goodfellas. And what is it about? Also mafia. Exactly. Also mafia, yeah. So. What are the relationships between these three? Brothers. They're That's exactly right. their brothers. Tw- by brothers. the way, triplets. <laughs> and um, what is? Uh, I know you, you know it's a mafia movie, but what era? What what's the time? Give us a time frame. Time. Nineteen eighty-five. Right, just about. Pretty much. Just about. Nineteen eighty-five. Pretty much. Eighty-five, eighty-six. And um, what okay. city does it take place in? New York. New exactly. York. New York. Where else? But New York. And so so one one quick question. The guy on the far left, Ray Lada, him and Joe Pepsi had a falling out at some point uh-huh. during the film. Uh-huh. Because the middle guy, Rob Bob De Niro, did what? What did he do to cause their falling out? Those two guys on the other side. The middle guy killed that girl, but that girl is Those are love. old men. <laughs> There's no, there's no girl, there's no girl on the, the one poster. On the floor. Oh, oh that's the girl. A, also a man. That's a man. Oh, it could oh, be a maybe, woman. That's a woman. Maybe could be a woman. they're gays. Maybe they're gays. <laughs> yep, they're gays. And we and, exactly what, what and we is. know you would serve them. Yeah. Happily. <laughs> happily. Uh, what a film! You've what? never seen this either. No. Oh, Jesus, wild. Great movie. So Jack Nicholson. Yep. Do you know who that is? No. Laker no. game. No. You don't know who Jack Nicholson is. Courtside, Laker game, crazy here. I've heard about his name, but I I'm sure you've know. seen him okay. in some social reference, right? You can't name any other movie that Jack Nicholson was in. No. Oh. Mm. So one flew over the the cuckoo's nest. The cuckoo's nest. The cuckoo's nest. <laughs> yeah. Now, what do you think this is about? He's yeah. looking up there in the sky, smiling. Yeah. I think it's similar to Dumb and Dumber. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Exactly. That's a comedy. It's a comedy. Yeah. Right. And he. Um, what happens in this comedy? What's the What's the setting uh, in this comedy? Like, where does it take They're place? They're in prison. They're, They're in prison. prison again. Again. <laughs> and then he finds someone who is dumber. Uh huh. <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. And then they try to escape. And they do try they, to escape the present. But they do pranks. They to do escape. pranks. Do pranks. To escape. Fart gags. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> Home Alone fart gags. Yeah. A couple of BBs raining down from the sky. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Next movie that you're honestly you're killing it. She already uh, saw this. I saw this. Oh, you did see yeah, Silence of yeah, yeah, Great. Yeah. How about this one? Wait, go back to Silence of the Lambs. What is it about? It's about. <laughs> she saw it, huh? We saw it together. Yeah. Yeah. It's about a serial killer. Yeah. And. Wait, wait! I forgot. No. Go yeah, on. it's a ser- serial killer, and then this girl um, investigates the guy. Uh huh. Is, is it this movie? What? I forgot. The smoothie? Already. What do you mean? Is it this movie where <laughs> There's a smoothie uh-huh. in it? The girl interrogates the serial killer, and then the guy escapes. I forgot already. Okay. You're not going to know the next one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go next I mean, one. if you forgot that movie, <laughs> yeah, as powerful yeah, as that was, yeah, yeah. something tells me you're not going to be able to just guess what Casablanca is about. Go ahead. Do you know where Casablanca is? Casablanca, is it a casino? Yes. Mm-hmm. In what city? What city? Las Vegas. Las, Las Vegas. Vegas. <laughs> and if you go to Las Vegas now, right, there's the beautiful Casablanca, Casablanca Hotel, Hotel. Mm-hmm. and casino. And spa. And spa. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and um, it's right there on the Strip. In the yeah, middle yeah. of everything. Right. Right next yeah. to MGM, I think. Yeah. And uh, who's in it? Bogert. Bogert's yeah. in it. Yep. Who else? Bergman. Berg- Bergman. Bergman's in it. Bergman's in it. Birdman the rapper's in it. <laughs> yeah. Henry. 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 He's a soccer player. Yep. <laughs> Henry. So- Henry was a soccer Henry player. Henry a soccer player. Yeah. So in this, in this movie, just a quick little thing. He's got a gun there. You see that. Mm. Is he protecting all those people behind him? Or is he out to get some of those people behind him? I think he's protecting the woman, but not the other guys. Uh Mm. Very, very Very, good. Very, very good. Because the guy in the top right is a, you can see him over his hat. He's a. He's. J. With a J. Jew. Yep. Yes. (laughs) There it is. Yeah. He's Jew. (laughs) Yes. Correct. That's what the movie's about. Yep. Uh, Ah. Jimmy Stewart. This I've is... never heard of this. Rear window. Yeah, what do you yeah, mean? yeah. You've never heard of this. Okay. It's it's a guy. Oh wait, wait. The direct. All look right. At, who direct? The... Who directed it? It says it. It says it. Alfred Hitchcock. Have you heard of him? No. Had, he. This is the only movie he did. So yeah. He that's... only did one movie. <laughs> that's fine. And then he died in a car accident. Yeah. All right. So Alfred Hitchcock. We don't know much about him. Almost nothing, really. Really, no one really knows much about him. He did one movie. He got out of film school. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, he in, so fifteen directors turned this movie down, <laughs> right? And Alfred Hitchcock, this guy, you know, skinny guy, brand new, brand new, young guy, right? He directs this movie, and then he dies in a car accident. And what do you think happens in this movie? It's pretty easy to tell because this poster is pretty is pretty. Yep. They paint a good picture. Look at the poster, and what happens in this film? The guy is stalking the girl. Yes, exactly. And, and what yeah, happens he... to her? What I think. A, look he... at that big thing on the right. What happens to her? Where? Look at the big thing next to him. What is that tall thing? A building? Yep. Yeah. So what, what happens to what her? What happens to her? She falls? She yeah. falls. Because look at the blue in that. See that up there in the blue? Yeah. Right? Look at her blue dress. <laughs> yeah. He was a peeping Tom. He was spying on and her. And her last line is, I should have stood so close to the rear window. <laughs> and then dead. But maybe he pushed her. Ah. ah. Plot twist. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. Oh, boy. Oh, this is a good one. We've talked about it on this show an awful lot. A lot of times, this movie. <laughs> okay. You've seen this? Have you seen this? No. What's it called? Apocalypse Now. Okay. Yes. What happens? What's the setting? They're in Africa. Exactly. Yep. What part of Africa? How'd you know from the poster? Yeah, it kind of looks like it. That's actually yeah, yeah, a good yeah, call. Yeah, if, you, good. if you name the country, we can move on. Yeah, what country yeah. does this take place in, in Africa? Nigeria. That's the exactly. one. Exactly. That's the one. And good thing you did. I, Here we go. The, the Iiria, not now, the who, other one. Look who's back. <laughs> who's that actor? Look who's back. Look who's cuckoo. <laughs> look who's cuckoo. <laughs> who's the guy? Who's the guy? We, here's Rudy. I don't know. You no, know, we saw him before. I we, know. I said, have you heard of him before? Alfred Hitchcock. It's Alfred Hitchcock. Hitchcock. It's Alfred Hitchcock. There he is. There he is. It's Alfred Hitchcock. And that's the Shinnin. Yeah. That's yeah. And now what's this movie about? 
The Shining? The Shining. <laughs> yeah, Shining. It's not The Shining? No, it's Shining. Shining? Shining. <laughs> no, the There's sh- two N's in Shining. <laughs> this is The Shining. This is The Shining. <laughs> and in The Shining, of in course. In The Shining, what happened? You can tell right away. It's yeah. so easy. Look. What's exposed on his mouth? You see his <laughs> teeth, right? What's it about? Shining. Shh. Yeah. Shh. Yeah, you... yeah, his teeth. He... If you go yeah. get a shinning, you're going to get your... <laughs> What's a shinning? <laughs> you're trying to make it up then. What do you think it is? Make look, look, it's it. This is one of those movie posters where it's so obvious what it is. Yeah. You could just say it. Very simple. He either... Watches girls, yeah, in the bathroom. Yes, yes. <laughs> or yeah, he eats metal. The answer is B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he eats the metal. It's the metal. What's shinning? Yeah, yeah. You have to, you have to watch it. the movie. You have to go watch yeah, the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rudy, that was incredible. That was incredible. <laughs> Give him a round of applause. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Did you ever see Grand Torino? I loved it. Now, could that come out? Right now, is that no. a good, that would that would be a stop Asian hate movie that would get? I think that oh yeah, that would definitely. But you know what? Get off my lawn, you Asians! Did he brought, say racial epithets? I brought in the my movie? parents to that movie. You did? Yeah, and my dad go to, halfway through the movie goes, "I don't feel comfortable." Yeah, I, I'm being real. No, I mean he I didn't I, like it. Grant Torino's look. My at mom that, loved uh, it though. Uh, denounces anti Asian slurs. Well, they use it in the movie. Yeah. So when we talk about this stuff, think about like this. Tarantino says the N word in Pulp Fiction. Mm. What do you do with this? You're okay with it? Do they need to cut that out now because of what's going on? I, I think that. Um, but who says the N word in Pulp? Oh yeah, they do. He does. He does say it. Yeah, yeah he pretty, does say pretty it. on the nose. Yeah, he does say it. Um, he said, "Does there a sign on this outside of my outside of my driveway that says, says dead N word parking? Parking? Yeah. yeah, storage. Dead N word storage. Yeah, that's storage. right. Yeah, 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 that's right. Have you seen you seen this movie? Right, you did." Yeah, but I forgot about it already. It was a long time ago. Okay. <laughs> Bring up the picture of the four cast members there, yeah. please. Who are they? <laughs> Who are these people? The, the actors' names. John Travolta. Very good. And then the girl. I know she's in Kill Bill. Yes. Yeah. Another Tarantino movie. The guy to the right is... I think he was in a racing movie. I don't know. Yes. yes. That racing, famous racing movie. Which Fast movie? And the Fast, Fast and the, and the Furious. Furious. There we Vin is. Diesel. Vin Diesel. <laughs> Vin Diesel, right there. Uh-huh. By, by the way. Yeah. Well, he does look like does fucking look like Vin, Vin Diesel, Diesel right man. there. I, honestly, he really does look like yeah. him. Did you fart? No. Does that... What, Rudy? I didn't fart. So defensive. Yeah. Because it Did smells in here. Did you fart for I real? I didn't. Your eyes. I, I didn't, didn't fart. Because I, I think you did. Did you fart? Be honest. Oh. I promise. Because last night we had deep dish, deep dish pizza and I can't eat it anymore. Why? Because, you know, the one with the ch- mozzarella cheese and then the ricotta oh, cheese. Oh, so and the good. Sausage. It's so good. It's, I know, but I'm lactose intolerant. Take a pill. Maybe. Take a lactate. But she was taking a shower, and I go, I'll just go to the bathroom downstairs. She goes, no, I like it when you shit when I'm taking a shower. What? Yeah, and I go, you do? She, I do. Absolutely So I'll sit there not. and shit while, while she's in the shower. shower? She loves it. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you guys are perfect for each other. Yeah, so I'm shitting, and I'm... Close? <laughs> and she's like, oh, that that was a groovy one. Yeah. <laughs> Does she, she likes that in yeah. the same room? Yeah, it's crazy. Do you take showers together? We used to. We have. Have you? I today. Oh yeah, I'll we do, have. We do it all the time. But do you pee when you get in the shower? Oh yeah. Do you pee in the shower? See, me too. Andres, do you pee in the shower? No, we talk about it. No. We already talked about it on this show. Yep. Oh, I didn't know. What do you do, Gab? Do you pee in the shower? Uh, yeah. yeah. Of course, everybody. Everyone normal pees in the shower, and I pee on her sometimes. Um. <laughs> thank, thank you for, for being a bad, bad friend. friend. I wipe my ass from the back to front. You wipe like that? <laughs> Don't you ever get it on your balls? I think I said his dicks. That's why his dick smells. I was like, poop. Shit. Why don't you just get baby wipes? No, I, I always, I am, for some reason, I'm getting fat now. I don't, I've never, I didn't always do that. 
But you, why, this just started out of nowhere. You no, because start... I'm getting fat, so it's like I can't get my little. Why don't you lo- lean up? Get up. I can't. You can't get up. I can't get my hand to my asshole. We should get a, a rail for you to hold no, on to. No, but I the wall. can do this for some reason. Well, my of course you can. like closer to my taint's very small, small, small taint, small. So runway. it's like yeah, I can get my hand to my asshole that way. Right. <laughs>